Excuse me. <laughs> I'm still coughing. So I'll be live. Um, I'll be overhead here on TikTok. I'll put my device up top so you can see. And if you prefer the landscape view with the picture in picture, where you can like see me talking down in the little corner and see my hands in landscape view and see a little bit better what I'm doing. Not really a tutorial, but if you wanted to follow along and do it with me, you could. Um, yeah, that will be on YouTube and Facebook. So I will say hello to everybody over there on those other places. <coughs> Sorry. Okay, here we go. You're <coughs> Excuse me. You're feeling better. I'm feeling better too. Tap the screen for her. Aren't you nice? Thank you so much. Thank you for tapping the screen and following and sharing the live and doing all those good things that you all do. Appreciate you so much. TikTok, you are the best. You truly are. I have my window open tonight and it's like perfect weather for it. I'm sitting here um, about to work on a blanket and um, I have a nice ocean breeze blowing on me and it is a spectacular feeling. I'll just say it, say it how it is. I'll call it what it is to me. It's living the dream. It's living the dream. How is Sister Amy doing, if I may ask? She's doing really well, it sounds like. She really is one of those people that keeps herself very busy, so it's really hard for her to, um, you know, not... Uh, it's, it's hard for her to, like, rest and recuperate. She has a really difficult time slowing down and resting. So that's been hard for her. She got herself a new chair that helps her sit up and she's just been working. She has been working, 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 working. We're kind of workaholics in my family, I guess. We have a high work ethic, but yeah, she's been, uh, she's been working. She's doing good. Okay. There we go. All right, TikTok, I'm going to put you up top so we can get started with the crochet. I want to finish this thing tonight. I have three rounds to finish. Whoops. I bet that was fun to watch. There you go. So usually I let you all pick which color is going to go next, but I think I'm going to do this blue because I'm not sure I have enough of anything else to do to go all the way around with. And I'm hoping I have enough of this. And if I don't, I'm not sure what I'm going to do, but I've got quite a bit of this. So I got to go around three times. So what do y'all think? Are you happy with this blue? You okay? You okay with this? We good? We good? We good with this? I must start with this big one. Okay, so that's what I'm doing. I have some, I have a lot of gray and a little bit of the greens. Do you have a choice? Not really. <laughs> this is, we're doing the scraps, right? So this is what I got left. I probably have enough of like greens and grays to start the supernova. I haven't really decided. 
how I'm going to do the supernova. I might just use um, new yarn on it because I'm tired. I'm tired of this trend. Star bust, stash bust, whatever the heck we're doing here. So this is the star blanket, and this is round three. I did a couple rounds <clears throat> off camera the other day after I got off the live because I really wanted to finish. So you could say that I'll be finishing this in six days, but I did not work on it for consecutive days. If that matters yeah I got enough of the um I gotta have enough of the blue for three rounds I have round three and then round four and then I'm just gonna do a round of reverse single crochet on um, on the back side and that's gonna be that and then like I said I think I'm gonna finish the supernova the superstar rather off camera which I might be able to finish it up tonight. And then tomorrow I'll start my supernova. I'll figure out what I'm going to make it with. Ding, ding, ding. How's everyone doing tonight? How's everyone's Friday? How's everyone's week wrapping up? My name is West and I ain't in that mess. I don't know what y'all are talking about. 10 a.m. Saturday here in Australia. Oh, you're already on to Saturday. Don't rush me. Tomorrow's the last day of September. And I promised I would do three star blankets. Star blanket September. You're worried about your cousin Sherry's husband, Mike. What's going on? What happened to Mike? Getting ready for my crochet group. Crochet. She wants to blame me if you don't have enough blue. I'll have enough. Don't worry. It'll all work out. Maybe I'll even do a crochet marathon tomorrow. I don't know if I'm up for it. <clears throat> he spent two and a half weeks in the hospital back in June. Oh boy. Hope he's okay. Things in his throat rupture. Oh, goodness. That sounds awful. It's terrible. I'm really sorry to hear that. He went back to work. He has shingles. Oh, boy. Shingles is really painful. I've heard. I worked with the lady that um <clears throat> had it once, and she lost like 30 pounds. She was so sick.
really, I'll just say this. I am excited about moving on to other projects. This is an N, which I believe I figured out it was an eight millimeter. And this is Karen Ogo Colorama yarn, which has been discontinued, which is why I'm kind of trying to like use it all up and be done with it. I mean, be done with it, like as if I have a choice. The only choice I have is to be done with it. <laughs> I decided for the supernova I'm going to do the same stripe as this one. I just have to decide what yarn I'm going to do. But I'm going to do the same stripe. I want to work on my cardigan, but I'm lazy today. I know it, right? Less than 24 hours after he got off the hospital, he had to go back. He was coughing up blood. Well, that's terrible. He doesn't sound like he's in any position to be out of the hospital, let alone going to work. <coughs> Are you doing the hexagon card again? I have a couple um, partially completed hex cardigans lurking around here. Um, I think because I did them on lives and um, I wanted to show all the different parts so I was like Here's how you do the tapered sleeve. Here's how you do the straight sleeve. Here's how you do the flared sleeve. And so I've got like, um, I've got like these sweaters with like, um, you know, two different sleeves. <laughs> and I just never finished them. I want to watch them because I don't like the flared sleeves. Yeah, well, when you make a hexagon cardigan, um, the way that I make mine or the way that I wrote my pattern 
is that I have you measure your arm and I have you stop going around and around the cardigan when you have the arm size that you want, the sleeve width that you want, or sleeve circumference that you want. I don't have you just keep going and going and going until the sweater fits because if you are, um, you know, <clears throat> on the chubbier side like me or on the larger side, you're gonna have a gigantic sleeve maybe you don't want that so um the way that i do it is i stop the sleeve i stop the hexagon when the sleeve is the right size and then kind of work the rest of it in pieces and then i gave options for a straight sleeve a tapered sleeve and a flared sleeve because people want different you know different sleeve looks If you're like a 3X or a 5X and you make that um, that cardigan to fit your body, your sleeves are going to be ginormous. Maybe you don't want that. Well, some people want the ginormous sleeves. There's nothing wrong with them. Um, I think they're cute, but <coughs> you might not want them. There's other customization that can actually happen. I'm a 3X, but I like the tapered sleeve. There you go. You would probably really like my pattern. breeze is very chilly. It's a little colder than I was anticipating, but I was sweating when I sat down and I thought, oh great, a blanket. Big chunky blanket. Wonderful. Thank you, Andrew. They took down the little TikTok um, storefront. I used to have a little storefront on here. Now you have to load everything into TikTok shop and there's no way to sell digital items. So you have to go to my website. crocheting tonight, Andrew? What you working on?
Wow, this looks really green on the video, but it's really not that green. It's more of like a, I would call it a teal. Might have to get up and shut that window. The comment about him going back to the last 24 after after getting goes to the one about him going back to work. Yeah, I see. Yeah, but he still doesn't sound like he's well enough to be even out of the hospital, let alone at work. Sounds like a very sick guy. Mm. Rianne, I'm really sorry to hear your friend is having so many medical problems. <clears throat> It's your cousin. Okay. It's not going to be enough to leave it. Got a lot of ends on this one.
My cousin Sherry looked at when she was here on the 8th, and I wish the doctors would have told him he... Couldn't go back to work. Yeah, that's what it sounds like he needed. He needed to not go back to work and stay home and get well. Yeah, that's really hard to watch somebody you love go through all that. Brian, do they live nearby so you can help out? <clears throat> Excuse me. Sorry, every time I start go to talk, I have to cough. <clears throat> There's my day five marker. Woohoo! Who's talking to me over here? Hello. Oh, hi, Janet. Um, sorry, I didn't see your question earlier. I am working on the six day star blanket. I'm going to finish it up. I'm doing the ridgy didge with this one. And um, let's see. The yarn is the Karen Ogo Colorama, which has been discontinued. 
I'm just kind of using it up because I'm doing a stash bust September, kind of challenging myself, stash bust, star blanket, um, project to use up all these Ogos I bought when they were like, I don't know, clearanced and for different reasons. seemed like a good idea at the time. <laughs> now tomorrow is the last day of September and I still have a whole blanket. I wanted to do the star, the superstar, and the supernova, but I haven't even started the supernova yet, but I'm going to start it tomorrow. I still have one day of September. Thank you, Miss Amanda. <clears throat> well, it's good when you have, um, you know, when things are not going well for you, when you have family nearby, or even if they're not nearby, but they're willing to come and help. Oh, I forgot to plug my phone in again. They live close, five or ten minutes away. That's good. Do they have kids? Like if they ever needed somebody to come watch the kids, if they had to go to the emergency room or something like that, or have surgery or something. And meals and help help with housekeeping and um, lawn care and stuff like that is always appreciated. <clears throat> it's easy to find, fall behind on stuff like that when you have someone that's not well. Their kids are grown. They have dogs. Oh, yeah. Take the dogs for a walk or take the dogs out to the park. Keep the dogs uh, entertained and exercised. Oh, boy. Dogs are almost 13. Wow. I got two more points here to go. I mean, this is what happens when you get to the end of the blanket. Then it takes forever just to get around the edge. I'm trying to hurry up. Get these done for you guys. Thanks for sharing the live. Appreciate it.
been sending my cousin Sherry in the mail giving her stuff. That's nice. I love the st looks of stars, and I've made several, but I decided I don't like working in the round. Really? What don't you like about working in the round? I love it. Is it because the rows take longer and longer the further you go? That it takes longer and longer. Yeah, I get it. But it's super fun when it goes really fast in the beginning, right? <laughs> Are the colors more true to life on TikTok? They look brighter here on YouTube. No, today, for whatever weird reason, the colors are more accurate on YouTube than they are on TikTok. I don't know what the reason is for that. This green, this is more of like a turquoise <clears throat> than a, um, it's like more of a kelpy green on TikTok. I don't know why. I wish the doctors would figure out what's wrong with Mike. Me too, my dear. Try not to worry. Try to keep your thoughts positive and um, just keep, imagine him healthy and healed and strong and well. This blanket has a lot of ends dangling off of it and the windows open and there's a breeze and one of them tickled my leg and I immediately thought bugs. <laughs> Remember that day there was a spider crawling on here <clears throat> and I had a little bit of a freak out. Who could forget? <laughs> well, thanks. Okay, this is my last, this is the last point. He's never been this skinny. Mm -hmm.
Hi, Ada. Mm. This blanket's warm. I'm making this six day star blanket. The other day I was having a hard time working on it because it was hot in here. I was like, oh, it's too hot. Really love the turquoise and purple together. Might try to use a similar color scheme scheme for something. Got to finish some whips first, though. Yes, I love green and purple together. But that turquoise and that... It's almost like an indigo. It's almost like a blue, a dark blue that like leaned towards purple. Well, it's purple. Almost done with this row. Only have two more rows to go. Purples and blues are my favorite. I always gravitate towards them. I have to force myself to use different colors. I know, right? Mine is green. I always gravitate towards green. And then for a while there, I was like, okay, I'm going to go in the completely opposite direction because I'm always picking green. And then I was doing orange for a while. If you're stopping on round four, don't you only have one round left? Yes, I have one round and then I have the edge round. So I have round four and then I'm going to do a round of reverse single crochet.
round four. Round three, rather. <clears throat> that took me 46 minutes. All right, Andrew. Ding, ding, ding. Round four. Single crochet round. And it's 8.30. Oh, would the reverse single crochet look okay on a border? of four rounds of camel stitch. Of course, that would look great, but I'm not going to do four rounds of camel stitch on this blanket. <laughs> I don't want to. You could though. No, I put that on a stash buster I did. Okay. Single crochet round. I should be able to do this fast. Let's see how fast I can do it. I think the last one I did, I thought it only took eight minutes, but it took 18 minutes. My dinner smells good. Made some dinner, put some chicken and potatoes in the oven earlier. All 
I really just wanted the chicken because I want to make chicken soup and I have a bunch of bones in the freezer and tomorrow I think I'm gonna put those bones in the crock pot or um, the uh, instant pot or whatever and cook those. I've been wanting to but I didn't have like any onions or carrots or celery or anything. Um, all I had was done chicken bones. Uh, but then, so I put the chicken in the oven just to cook the chicken. And um, I thought, well, I'm firing up the oven. I might as well throw some potatoes in too. So I wrapped up some potatoes, and right now it just smells so good. It smells very good. What you working on tonight, Fran slash Della? Are you crocheting? I haven't even been out shelling since we've had all these high tides, high tides and storms and things. I gotta get my butt down to the beach and grab up some of them whelk shells. The first year I was here I found so many of them. Oh my goodness, I was like insane looking for them all the time. And then we had, we had some kind of storm or something that brought them all up on the, um, on the shore with the starfish, a bunch of starfish. And a lady showed me a picture of it. I was like, I was really upset because I missed it. We're just out there and had gathered up like 50 huge, beautiful, amazing whelk shells. And I was like, man. And then one day I was out there and it was actually warm that day. It was actually pretty warm and it was, I think it was like spring because there were, there were people starting to come to the beach and, uh, there were a lot of people out there and I was walking up and down the beach and I found like a whole bunch of whelks, a bunch of them. I had like a, <clears throat> I had a bag and it was like getting heavy. I had so many in there and, uh, <clears throat> that's like the last time I had a really good find. What size needle do you use the most? I'm looking at fence needles on Etsy. Fence? I've never heard of those. I would say like um, H, I, J are the most common sizes that you would use with worsted weight yarn. H, I, J, and K. Hi, Nicole. She says, hi, Betty. I like your star blue blankets. Thank you so much. Fancy. Well, Lisa, I would just get one and try it out and make sure 
that you like it before you buy it. This is, I use Ferl's Odyssey hooks, but they're not going to be making them anymore, which is um, <clears throat> do you mean knitting needles or crochet hooks? Knitting needles are like my preference for knitting needles is like it just depends on what I'm making with them. Yeah, crochet. Yeah, I would just get one Get like a, an I or a J hook and try it out with some worsted weight yarn and make sure you like how it feels in your hand. The most important thing is that it is ergonomic, especially if you're going to be crocheting a lot. Um, like I do, I crochet for hours every day. And so I have to have an ergonomic hook. It's non-negotiable. Okay, I got some ends there. I'm not smart enough or paid. Come on now. Let's not be like that. I am doing the six day star blanket. You have a good night as well, Miss Nicole. the six day star blanket and this is my second to the last round so it's taking forever to go around my last round took me 46 minutes and so far this round has taken me 11 minutes timing myself look how far that big blue cake went. It was pretty good. I'm pretty sure I'm going to have enough. Thank you very much. I deconstructed some Karen Ogo Colorama. Those weird skeins that they, they're not making them anymore, but um, I had a whole bunch of them, like, I don't know, 50. I had a ton, a ton of them.
So I broke them all up. And I have this blanket and I have another blanket going, Six Day Superstar. Um, and I was doing this whole stash bust September thing and making star blankets with my busting up mustache, my Ogo stash. And then, so I had started this six day superstar blanket to go in my friend's Airbnb. And I ended up not really liking it because I did too much. Uh, I didn't change colors in the middle of it. It had a big bullseye effect I didn't like. So I started over with this one and uh, the superstar, not this one in my hands, but the superstar that I've been doing on lives. And, um, <clears throat> that's where all the Ogos came from, but I, um, I took apart the old one today. <laughs> I was fairly satisfying. There she is. Hey, Amy, Andrew, Amy's here. Go holler at Andrew. Tag him if he's not here. How you doing today? Oh my gosh. You make the at symbol. There he is. He's been waiting for you. Andrew, show her how to make, how to tag somebody. There you go. You make the at symbol and you type their name. Durr! can't do it unless I click on them. Yep, I'm almost there. I have this point and one more point. Two points to go. I'm almost there. I believe I'm going to have plenty of yarn. Were you out in the sun today? No. I did drive down to, um, whatchamacall, down to Kitty Hawk to get my, um, blood drawn. I was driving with the windows open and stuff, but I 
um, it wasn't sunny. I did get my groceries. It took longer than I thought it was going to take, though, and I missed my call I wanted to listen to. So hopefully they'll send the recording and I can listen to that. Yeah. It was expensive, too. I got all stocked up and then I made myself some chicken and potatoes when I got home and I'm going to get my soup going tomorrow. Your groceries sting the doorbell at noon. I wish I could do that. I got myself all stocked up. I had all the um, stuff for the refrigerator in the bags, just like I said <laughs> I would, and I brought them in. <coughs> Excuse me. And then what I do is I just put the bags right in the fridge. I don't even unload them. I put the freezer stuff. Probably going to starve when I move there for the first couple months. Nah. I could probably eat out more, a lot more. I always tell myself I'm going to, like last night I was saying, oh, I really want Mexican. I'm going to go have Mexican. I'm going to have a burger. Remember I said I was going <laughs> to get a burger. I didn't get a burger. I bought burgers to make, but I didn't go get one. Usually I get it after I get my groceries and I just wasn't hungry for it. I can't get the man blanket person to put my shelves together to hold all the yarn I keep buying. 
That's because you keep working on other stuff besides the man blanket. Okay, that took 25 minutes, 24 minutes. Okay, now we're going to do the reverse single crochet. I don't really understand. Hi, Pat. Pat says, hi, Betty. I'm working on a six-day kid blanket with chunky yarn. So I don't really understand why there's so much drama about reverse single crochet. I don't understand why y'all are so dramatic about it. In fact, I'm going to take that out and I'm going to flip it. So this is basically to, to make a reverse single crochet. It's exactly what it sounds like. You're doing, I'm putting this on my legs to keep my legs warm. You're doing a single crochet, but you are, you're going in reverse. So I'm right, I'm a right-handed crocheter. So normally when I work, I go that way. And instead of going that way, I'm gonna go this way. But the movements are exactly the same. So I know there's like a crocheter on here that said that she watched all the tutorials, but that they all were leaving something out. And I don't know what she's talking about. You just go in and you come up and you pull through just like a normal single crochet. You just go to the right instead of to the left. That's it. Go in and pull up. Okay, and you're just allowing the yarn to twist on itself as you do that. Now, for whatever reason, my tension will make it ruffle. So I have to check it every probably five or six stitches to... Um, make sure it's not ruffling and then I have to skip one so I saw in her comments she said you have to do this twisty thing I don't know what she's talking about it's just like doing a single crochet except you're going the other way you're going to the right instead of to the left. I think, I don't know, if people just can't get their head around, wrapped around how to go backwards, I, I don't really know, but um, this just seems to cause a lot of drama when people try, try to do the reverse single crochet. I can't do it, I can't do it. I don't understand what's so hard about it. I'm going to skip that one. I can tell it's time for a skip. Okay, and then you just lay it down. Make sure it's flat. Oh, that's out of focus. Make sure it's flat. Okay, is that so bad? Now I'm going to flip it around just to explain. If you have to be dramatic, and you decide you don't want to go backwards. Hi, Cosmo. Okay. That some people will do this. They'll go forward and they'll do a twisted single crochet. Now, I hate doing it this way. So I'm just going to say I'm biased. So you pull up a loop and then you rotate and then you pull through. I think that's how you do it, okay? Pull up a loop like you're doing a single crochet, twist your hook all the way around, and then pull through. 
it's the exact same stitch, okay? And then you don't have to go, you don't have to go in reverse. Oops, you can go forward and you just helicopter your hook around one side before you pull through. Okay, that is twisted single crochet. I don't like it. It feels too tight to me. Um, I would rather just go backwards. So that's what I'm going to do. I'm just going to go backwards. It's just, to me, easier. You can also do half double crochet this way. You do the same exact thing and you pull through, that's half double, reverse half double crochet. Okay, if you want like a thicker cord around it, you do reverse half double. But I put reverse single crochet in the pattern. I think I put reverse half double crochet on the man blanket. So I usually do like five, four, or five. And then I skip one. And you might not have to skip one. It's a very cool edge. It's a very useful stitch. All my patterns are free on my site, bettymcnitt.com. This is the six day star blanket. Yeah, I already did. I did explain it. It's exactly the same as single crochet, as doing a single crochet. You just work from left to right instead of right to left. So you do it exactly the same. You go in, you pull up a loop, you yarn over and pull through two loops. Yarn in, over, pull up a loop, yarn over, pull through two. It's exactly the same. I don't understand what people are doing that they find it so difficult, but I understand that it's like a, it's a different weird concept to go, you know, to go work from left to right. <clears throat> and if you don't want to, um, if you don't want to work from left to right, you can do the twisted single crochet and I did show how to do that too. But you'll have to catch the replay for that. And I'll make a TikTok too. Let me see if I can get in a little closer for TikTok. Make a better TikTok video. How's that? How's the view? Well, and they can't see me on YouTube at all. But it's just exactly the same as a single crochet. You're just going from left to right instead of right to left. So if I were doing a single crochet, I'd go over here. I'm doing a reverse single crochet. I just go over to the stitch to the right, one stitch to the right. It's a five weight and I'm using an eight millimeter hook. 
<clears throat> it's Karen Ogo Colorama. It's discontinued. It's just exactly the same as a single crochet. You're just going to the right instead of going to the left. And I think my tension's a little bit more loose, which might be why mine ruffles sometimes. But I honestly, I don't understand the drama around this stitch. People just seem to lose their minds. I can't do it. I usually skip one every like five or six stitches, otherwise mine will ruffle. But it's looking pretty good. Keep laying it down and making sure that it's flat. Yeah, it's not that, it's not that crazy. It's really not, like, I'm not just being a jerk about it. I'm seriously like, what is so hard about this? <laughs> you know, it's exactly like single crochet. You just go to the to the right instead. You go under, you pull up a loop, you pull through two loops. Okay, I'm going to skip one in this valley just because I know I need to skip anyways for my tension. So if you don't want it to, you know, kind of flatten out right there, you just go backwards. That's it. That is it. There is no extra nothing that you have to do. It's a little awkward at first, but, you know, you get used to it. Um, I feel like it's way simpler than trying to go forward and doing the twisted single crochet and flipping your hook around every time. That's just too much, in my opinion. But to each their own, let's all live and let live. If you prefer to flip your hook um, to do, um, what's it called? twisted uh twisted single crochet going forward instead of working backwards i mean i get it it's just i uh, not worth all the drama you just literally go backwards it is all there is to it hey bug booth i'm i'm finishing off a six day star blanket this is the reverse single crochet round. It's the last round. How do you make the reverse single crochet look so easy? I always struggle with tension while doing it. I don't know. I um, <clears throat> just don't think it's that hard. I guess when I pull up that second loop right there, 
I keep it really loose. Honestly, I think when, uh, like when I first started crocheting and I think a lot of beginner crocheters are like this, they think that their stitches have to be really tight or it's going to unravel and fall apart. Um, and <clears throat> you just really don't have to be as tight as you think. So when I pull up that loop, I, I pull up, you know, like it's not tight to the hook at all. Okay. The reason for going in reverse is that it makes a decorative edge on the work. It's an excellent edge stitch. It's, um, <clears throat> it doesn't stretch and it's, you know, slightly decorative. I mean, it has like a, it has a really nice finished look to it. It's a really good stitch to know how to do. <clears throat> Sorry. I don't know. <clears throat> I don't know why this happens, but for some reason, my overhead camera um, with this other software that I use to go live on you on Facebook and YouTube, when the camera battery dies, the software does not bring up like the picture in picture again. It makes me go through all these different um, gyrations to get that or it makes me wait. I, I don't know if it means to cool down or what it needs to do but <clears throat> I'm just going to take a little, a little break for a few minutes while that um, does thinks or whatever the heck it's doing. <coughs> Excuse me. Yeah, reverse single crochet is the bomb. definitely a finishing stitch. I don't know how you would work into this stitch if you were, you know, going to try and work another row on top of it. Uh, it's probably possible, but um, a cool thing to do with it that I've done before is like work a row of reverse single crochet like in the front loop of the stitch and then go back and work another row um, of regular single crochet in the back loop and it adds a you know like a row of texture to your um, to your work. I think I used that technique actually on like the pocket shawl one of my pocket shawl patterns. It's still I don't know why not showing up. <clears throat> Thank you very much. It's not hard. I mean, when I first released this pattern and people were like 
well, you know, just like, well, like I said, kind of losing their minds because they didn't want to do the stitch, you know, you know, I, I was like, what the heck? This is not a hard stitch. It's really not, not hard at all. It's just exactly like single crochet. You're going from left to right instead of right to left. That's it. It's so easy. Good, give it a try. I think if there was a trick to it, I would just say the trick would be to pull up a really nice loose loop right there. Right there. Pull that loop up. Make it nice and loose. You know, don't try and do this with really tight tension. If you need to get a bigger hook to do it, go up a hook size or two. It's just not, it's not as hard as all you would think from listening to people talk about how they couldn't get it. Yeah, I know my, um, I don't know what happens with this software that my, um, <clears throat> it, it won't bring the camera back on when the, my battery dies. I apologize. I just joined is not a finishing stitch. What do you mean? Is it a border finishing stitch? Yes, I think, well, it's a decorative edge that you can use if you work it into both loops, but I've also used it in just one loop. Like, for instance, you could do it in the front loop of your project and then go back and continue your project by working into the back loop of the stitch. If you wanted to have you know, use it as a decorative, not an edge. Della says, you have to make sure when you pull it through that it's in front of what lays on top. If that fall down, it can get troubled. It's in front of what lays on top. Oh, like as and not under. I see what you're saying. And you wouldn't want it to wrap like around this part either. You have to just keep going to the right. Sorry, I'm just taking a break and trying to let my camera, my uh, second camera, come back to life. Of all the times. In fact, let me just take a, I'll just take a quick, it won't be 15 minutes, but it'll be three.
degrees might be just a tad much. <laughs> just a tad. All right, let's see. Yes, all right. Oh, brother. My chair is really squeaky. All right, where's my hook? Okay, here we go, continuing, reverse single crochet. Just like single crochet, and you just go backwards. And then the other thing I do, I pull up a really loose loop when I pull up. I have to skip a couple stitches here and there, otherwise my work ruffles. Might be because I have loose tension. Okay, I'm going to skip in this valley because I, I know my tension's already loose. So. Going really nice and slow for you guys. And get a lot of chances to look at it. OK, 
keep laying it down and checking it, make sure it's flat. Pull up a really nice loop in the front. I skip one about every five or six stitches. Let me see, I got questions over here. Can I make a regular star planet out of that two spoke yarn? <laughs> or is it going to be really small? Um, you can uh, make a the star blanket out of any yarn. But if you have a two weight like that, <clears throat> what might be nicer and what you might like more is like as one of the star shawls Okay, how are you guys doing? Are you getting the idea of the reverse single crochet? Is it feeling like something you could handle? I'm going to speed up a little now.
I think the first time I did it, I was like, I didn't really know what it was supposed to look like. And I was like, ooh. And then after you do several in a row and you start getting some like evenness to them, it's kind of like, oh, that's what it's supposed to look like. It's supposed to look like it's almost like a braid or a twist or a rope across the work. No worries. I want to make a, I want it to go really slow so I could take a little piece out of this replay later and post a, post a video about it because um, a lot of people struggle with this stitch. And it's really, it's really not, not hard enough for, for people, you know, it's not that difficult of a stitch. It's just like single crochet. But yeah, if that's, if there's anything that I do different, it would be pulling up that loop really nice and loose. Yeah, it does. It gives it just a nice finished look. Nothing fancy. Some people like really fancy borders. Sometimes I like them. Um, but I, I love finishing things off with reverse single crochet. You can finish off knitted garments with it. It's very useful. It's very a very useful stitch. And like, I don't know if you were here when you saw you can do half, uh, you can do reverse half double crochet like that. And then you have three strands that are like doing that twist like that. And it's exactly the same. It's half double crochet, just working from the left to the right. That's it. And if you really can't get it, you really can't wrap your head around working from left to right, um, you can do the twisted single crochet. But I, to me, it just seems like a lot of effort is you have to spin your hook around like that every, every single stitch. It's like, isn't it, wouldn't it just be easier to go backwards? <laughs> That's how I feel when I see people doing it. Like, how is this easier? Yeah. I think it's a lot of work. It's a lot of extra movements. It's a lot of tension, you know, getting the tension right. To me, it feels really difficult to get my tension right going the other way. <clears throat> My chair's are really squeaky. Well, the um, twisted single crochet and the reverse single crochet, they're actually the exact same stitch. They're just worked a different way. So they look exactly the same. It's the same exact look, but I just think it's easier to go just to do it in reverse than it is to be twirling my hook like a baton.
let's see, how far do I have to go? One, two, I'm going really slow. Three, three. I got three points still to go. Yeah, so I think ending on row four, if you're doing the ridgy dig, is the right choice. Because if I were to end on row seven, it would be like ending right here. And then you'd have the ridge, and then you'd be done. I guess we slowed you up. Well, yeah, that and my stupid camera. Or it's not even the camera, it's the software. Um, I don't know what's going on with it. Why it needs time to boot the other, to boot my overhead camera back in. I don't, I don't understand that. I mean, doing stuff on camera always takes longer, um, <clears throat> but it's all right. Thanks for sharing the live. I'm doing the reverse single crochet. How many of these have you made? Um, a lot. Um, but I don't, you would be surprised. As a designer, I don't make as many as some of like my followers and people who um, in my communities, they have made a lot more six day blankets than I have because I'm, I'm always, you know, designing takes longer. And so I, I don't just make as much as I used to. I'm not just sitting and making, um, I wish I could crochet faster and make more things even faster. I would design more. There's a lot to do. I had a lot of people waiting for me to to write up the ridgy ditch as like a um I did it as a baby blanket I did some new patterns as baby blankets because they're really fast to make up and people always want to make baby blankets and it was also springtime when everyone was having babies and um but people also want those stripes and those variations of the six day blanket in you know, they want to be able to make it in any size they want with whatever yarn they want. So usually in my, you know, in the baby blanket pattern, it's just a baby blanket. That's it. But in the quote unquote adult size um, pattern, I tried to give all the measurements and yardage and stitch counts and everything for all different sizes and weights of yarn. I have like a chart in the pattern that shows you how to make a queen size blanket with three weight yarn or a baby blanket with chunky yarn. You know, I have the whole, um, all the variations there for people. So I have, 
I have people waiting on that asking me like when are you gonna do the ridgy ditch the adult ridgy ditch so um the adult blankets take a lot longer to make oh yeah make it up and take take you know photograph it and then some of the blankets I use around my home but like um I bought stuff to do a ridgy ditch with chunky yarn there you go nice The, um, the yarn that I chose for the adult Ridgy Didge, I chose the Stylecraft Special DK, and it's a three-way, and I'm really regretting it because it would go faster if I used a chunky weight. <laughs> it would go a lot faster, but um, it is what it is. I just have to work up the blanket one of these days. Month of October, I'm hoping is going to be work up the um, Ridgy Didge and the Tranquility Stripe. I did something called the Tranquility Stripe and I haven't done that blanket either. I just did a baby blanket. Well, you're welcome, Cindy. Thank you for saying so. I enjoy it or I would not be here. Yeah, I did answer you, but um, it was like way long after you asked the question. So you might not have been um, paying attention. Uh, you can do a blanket, a star blanket with two weight yarn. You can do the star blanket with literally any yarn. You had to rewrap your leg, okay? Um. But if it's a two weight, why don't you do the star? Why don't you do one of the star shawls instead? I think you'll like that better than a blanket. Unless you have something in particular you want to do with a, you know, with a blanket, a two weight blanket. But I bet it would be prettier as a shawl. It has sparkles in it. Well then, I think you were thinking you were going to make a shawl. And they're very similar to the tree skirts, which you've already made. So you could practically do it in your sleep. It was a sleep purchase, I think. You better turn off your, put your phone on airplane mode or something. I've definitely done that. I did that. I have uh, <clears throat> ordered some stuff and I had forgotten to change the address from my friend's house. I had ordered her something for her baby shower and it didn't come in and I said just give me the address I'll just send it to her directly rather than doing it over the you know through her through her registry I'll just send it to her directly and then I forgot to change the address and I sent her a bunch of other stuff and one of the things I accidentally sent her was underpants and it was all addressed to her. And she was like, 
her her mom is my friend and she's the same age as my daughter we had daughters at the same time and she was like asking her mom like why would Beth send me underwear just like opening the stuff and it was like dumb stuff it was like hair conditioner and underpants and I don't know some other stupid thing like just some stupid thing that I ordered from uh, Amazon just some basic thing I don't remember what it was but she was like what well, it was like a oh it was like a pair of pants underpants <clears throat> like compression uh, thigh highs that I wear for medical reasons. <laughs> she was like, why is Beth sending me this stuff? <laughs> She's like a little kid on Christmas morning. Ooh, packages. So then I got that stuff from them. And then I realized there was still like one more, um, package that she was going to get of mine and it was like it was like curly hair conditioner and she has curly hair so I was like just enjoy the hair conditioner <laughs> and then I got a um I got the thank you card from her a week or so ago and it said thank you so much for your gift and I'm really enjoying the hair conditioner like I will never live that down <laughs> that I sent her underpants. <laughs> Sorry. C2C is stands for corner to corner. It's a very popular, it's like a granny stitch, but you work into the side of the stitch and so it starts in one corner and then you work it across until it's like diagonally as wide as you want and then it's worked from one corner to the other and some people can some people make do like graph gans with it so um like you have like a like a picture that you're drawing with colors with it, like blocked out like a grid. And so you follow like that grid chart and, and do the colors that way. It's really a pop. It's really popular. I've never done one. I feel like I would get bored. The six day kid blanket is the exact right proportion of boring and not boring, boring. And then you have to think and then boring and then you have to think. I feel like corner to corner sounds like it would be fun. And then I get about 10 rows in and I'd be like, Ugh, I'd set it aside and start something else and it would languish in a corner for years. It's monotonous. Not that that's bad, but I don't know. I'm spoiled. It's very monotonous, kind of like this reverse single crochet on the edge of this blanket. 
There's something that is also becoming monotonous. I'm bored. I'm almost done. It's my last point. C2C was my go-to pattern until I started doing your pattern. Yeah! I don't know. The six-day kid blanket, it like, it never gets old. If you get tired of the regular one, then you can do the star. And if you get tired of that, then you could do the granny square. Although I think the granny square is you know boring compared to the star or the six day kid blanket because it doesn't chevron um and then if you get bored with the granny square a granny great granny or great granddad great granddaddy You can go back to the original, or you can do the chaos blanket. That's the next one I'm working on. Six day chaos. I'm so excited about it. I'm going to try and release the chaos scarf on Sunday. I haven't said anything to anybody about it, except the people in the McNitterverse. Waiting on my yarn order from Michaels so I can finish my granny square ponchos. That sounds fun. I don't have a poncho pattern yet. I tried a couple years ago. I worked on one. I should do one. Sometimes when I buy yarn for a project, I feel okay about it if I start the project and I put it all together like in a basket with the hook and the yarn and the pattern. But yeah, I have a bunch of stuff stacked up right here. <coughs> Barry is like a giant powder puff in the middle of my bed. <laughs> I wish I had a dog to sit with me or a cat, sit here and listen to me talk. All right, all done. Dun 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 dun. Dunzo. The six day. Star blanket September blanket is complete except for the ends. Uh, we're not going to talk about that. Hi, Kathy. sent me a pic of Barry 
Hey, there we go. You can see part of it in the overhead and part of it right here. Let's see how big it ended up. Let's see if I can measure it on this table sitting here. I gotta like tighten up the screws in this chair or something. Every time it squeaks, it really bothers me. Thirty-three. So that means sixty-six inches across. I wanted it to be at least sixty. So I did it. Sixty is how tall I am. Sixty inches. So it's a little bit taller than me. Ooh, my eyes. Whoa, my eyes look really weird. I wonder if there's some kind of weird filter on here tonight. Is that why my colors were all weird? Yeah, because that the, that is not the colors, and that is not what my eyes look like. <laughs> it's so weird. All right. Well, that turned out nice. That turned out real nice. I'm happy with that. I'll wear it like a cape. Okay, one done, one to finish, and one to start. Hi, Deborah. And only one day left in September. <sighs> All right, I'll come back tomorrow sometime and do get my supernova started, I promise. Have a good night. Thanks for hanging out. I said you should make this one of the star shawls. <laughs> Bye.